It's finally here. We have a tracker inside of Final Cut Pro. You now don't need to go into After Effects if you just want to track a simple title. You can do it right inside of Final Cut Pro without any plugins, of course, motion VFX and stuff like that. They had plugins to track inside of Final Cut Pro, but now we can do it inside of Final Cut Pro. Now, the only thing missing is an adjustment layer. That would be nice inside of Final Cut Pro without any third party plugins or titles or whatever. But anyways, today I'm going to show you how to use the new tracker inside of Final Cut Pro. So I have this example clip from our latest horror short film, The Move. In case you haven't watched it, be sure to watch it by clicking up here, just if you want to, of course. So how can we track something in this clip? You have to select the clip and then we we go down here, there we can see there is a new option which is called trackers. We click on the little plus icon and then we have this grid on our frame. We can use this to select the area that we want to track. Like for example, I'm going to track this thing on the box. So I'll place the grid over it. You can adjust it to the exact size of the grid just like with any other tracker basically. And then you can analyze forward, backward, or if your cursor is in the middle, you can just click on analyze and it will first analyze backwards and then forwards. So let's click analyze. And this is real time, I'm not cutting anything out, this is not like sped up, this is real time, so the tracker is really, really fast. Now we can click on done, and I'm gonna use a title to show you how to track. So just use a custom title, drag it over the length of our sequence, and I'm just gonna type in track, a little bit bigger, just like this. It's just an example. Now I'm gonna place it over it, I guess. And now we have to go down here on transform, click on it. And the thing that's new is right beside the transform option, we have a new tracker option. You can just click on tracker or select the different trackers that you can have. You can also rename them, of course, so you don't lose track of which tracker you're using, track section. So object track is the one we're going to use. Click on it, then we can click on done and rewatch it. And there we go, we have track this into our scene. Now, of course, right now the size isn't adjusting. To change that, we just have to click on the title and go to the little film roll up here, show the video inspector. And then right at the keyframes, we have these new icons, which implies that we have used a tracker. And you can see we have the position, the rotation, but not the scale. And here you can add a little check mark right next to the scale option or remove it or just change the position and not the rotation. There you can just select what types of movement you want to track. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to name the tracker. We just have to click on the original clip where the track is on, scroll down to the tracker and double click on object track and you can name it tracker one. And now once we click on the title again, and go into the transform option. Once we select the tracker, you can see it's not called object tracker anymore, but tracker one. And that's basically it. That's how you can easily track something inside of Final Cut Pro. From my testing that I already did, of course, I haven't done that much testing with the Final Cut tracker yet, but from my testing, it's not as good as the After Effects tracker. But if you just wanna do a simple title track like this, it's great that you have the option to do it right inside of Final Cut Pro and don't have to go into something like After Effects. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new and you can track now inside of Final Cut Pro. I think that's awesome. Let me know what you think about that and I will hopefully see you in the next video. You can watch more videos right here and right here. You can subscribe right here and that's it now. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. We can track in Final Cut Pro. That's so amazing. I've been waiting for this since 2017.